this is our spot. I just love being right on the waterfront. Bella just spotted one. It's just so scenic. The world's largest barra doing everything completely wrong. So now we have all the gear and no idea. Why? Just why? Alright, we're resorting to the oars already. <laughs> then you mm, give a little kiss. All right, guys, before we get stuck into this episode, we have some new shirts. Now, you guys know that we love a beer, so we had to make a shirt with beers on them. Available in maroon, and we also have it in the black. If you're after one of these, now or never, oz.com to get yours. Right, so we're gonna give away a merch pack, one of these new shirts, a stubby cooler, and a sticker to one of you guys. All you have to do is drop in the comments where in Australia you would like to have a beer. And for those of you that don't drink beer, where would you like to have a lemonade or, I don't know, a glass <laughs> of water? <laughs> yeah, whatever you're into. Um, we'll pick a winner Saturday night before the next video drops. But for now, let's get into this episode. All right, so it's moving day, guys. We've left um, Melanda and we've rocked up at a caravan park. It's not our caravan park. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've put in the wrong thing in the maps and we're supposed to be 10 kilometers from here. <laughs> so another 20 minutes drive. <laughs> Starting route to lot three, Tinnaburra Drive. Uh, look. Proceed to Tinnaburra Falls Dan Road, okay. then turn right. This is like the one time Alex has arranged accommodation. <laughs> and this is how it's going. Hey, you can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> turn anyway, right onto Tinnaburra let's drive to our Dan actual Road. place for Stan. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm glad that wasn't our caravan park <laughs> because this is our spot. Would you look at that? <laughs> what do you reckon, babe? You did good. It's <laughs> this pretty is, good. This is my first booking. It is. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've hit the nail on the head, haven't I? <laughs> you have. <laughs> it's quite cheap too. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Lakeside. Lakeside Caravan. Park. Lakeside Caravan Park. This is Lake Tinaru. Is that right? I don't know. You booked it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is Lake Tinaru. Um, one of. Is it a lake or a dam though? Oh my God. People gosh. call it a dam. He's so like knowledgeable. <laughs> anyway, we're on the water. <laughs> it's a thing of water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the good thing about this joint is these unpowered sites here. So, I mean, just <laughs> look at this place. Look at it. Um, so you got a lot of jet skiers, you got a lot of ski boats, mm. but I think that's awesome. I read a few reviews, people complaining about that. I could sit here all day and watch it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I, the main reason I wanted to come somewhere like this is I want to get the boat in. Now they stock these dams with barra. Yes. And I couldn't catch a barra on a barra charter. So I don't know what my chances are here, but... Well, the people at the caravan <laughs> park have said it's pretty quiet, apparently, but if you get the right ones, they're worth money. Yes. So the story behind that is there's five different locations here and they tag barras. First one quart of each season or each year is $20,000. Mm. And then it goes down from there. But anyway... So we could be up for some money here. <laughs> we're not. Because we're, not catching, any, so we're not catching any fish because we're not fishermen. Uh, but like... Look, you know, hopeful thinking. We can dream, can't we? <laughs> anyway, that's the plan. Get out there, catch some barra. So these spots here, 39 bucks a night, no power, no water. Does us perfectly. I just love being right on the waterfront here. Okay, so we're on a mission to find a platypus. Apparently, Younger Bar, which is the township that the uh, caravan park that we're at is, is the place to see them. Um, we've heard people already saw them today. This is a bit hard to find. The platypus viewing platform. Maps was a little bit funny about it, wasn't it? Yeah, the address that you put in. Yeah. Then I went to Wiki Camps and found it on there and yeah. took straight to it. Peterson's Creek, anyway. It's right as you drive out of town. We'll see if we can find one. Bella just spotted one. Look at it. Oh, it's going under. Is 
So they definitely are here, guys. You just gotta stand and wait. Be and... patient. Oh, you don't even have to be that patient. We saw three within a couple of minutes. Yeah, that's true. Um, we just literally finished saying, oh, we're not gonna see any. And Bella's like, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> ripples in the water. You see bubbles coming up and then you'll see like ripples in a circle coming out and that's them. Yep. But they don't, um, they don't stay up for long. No. They come up and then you got a couple of seconds and they're gone. Yep, you gotta be ready if you wanna catch one on camera. <laughs> but that's so cool. Right, like, in town as well so you don't have to go searching i feel like this is our first successful like wildlife mission it where is. you're supposed to see something in a place and we actually and saw you it <laughs> or you come to a place to see the specific animal that's in that area yeah and normally, we normally don't for us. <laughs> have a go at this for a cracker of a sunset eh oh yeah it's beautiful it's um quite cold though i'm like my teeth are going <laughs> <laughs> It's just so scenic, it looks like a painting. Using that new source mm. from, um, what was it called? Sky, Sky, Sky Brewery. Sky Brewery. Sky Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's this though? Check out, as we've been sitting here cooking brekkie, there's this like layer of fogs come over the uh, dam. Kind of gone yeah, again. <laughs> it is, yeah. It was pretty thick just before though. Very eerie. Very scenic here, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, plan is get the tinny off the roof. We're going to spend the day out on the water, try to catch that elusive barra. Found out yesterday as well that this dam, it is a dam because there's a sign up there, is the home of the world's largest barra ever caught. I can't remember the specs, so I'll look it up and put it in. Um, also, the largest, whoa, what was it? Sooty grunter or something like that, I can't remember. Another fish, but that's pretty cool. All right, so as I'm getting the tinny set up, I've just realized that I haven't actually told you what it is and shown you around it. So this is a Quintrex 350 Explorer. So 350 means three and a half meters. And it's got a Yamaha 15 horsepower two stroke on it. So we bought this thing secondhand as a whole package. Motor, tank, hull and a fold-up trailer. We don't have the fold-up trailer with us. Uh, it's just weights and where to put it on the van, but it's really, we really regret it <laughs> because we have to do this. We have to come down the water. But we paid for this whole setup three grand. And I think that is the best bargain in the world when it comes to tinny setups. Uh, it's a 2015-ish hull and motor. So it's not that old, bugger all hours on it. And it's just chalk and cheese to the last one, isn't it, Eric? Yep. So it's, it, this thing suits us perfectly. Uh, it came with a sounder too, but I, um, I've got it in the van, but it's just not set up properly. So that's at a later date to do all that, but I'm absolutely stoked with this thing. So as you can see by us getting it off too, we don't have like a winch set up on our boat rack, but it's really not that hard, eh? Like the both of us, you just saw us then, it only took five minutes to really get this thing off and set up. Um, the most awkward part's probably the motor in the back here. There's no slide or anything. We just literally got to manhandle it in and then I just strap it down to the top here. But hey, it works. We get out there in the boat. Well, my attempt this morning with the kids is an absolute bloody fail, I tell you what. All I managed to do was lose lures and get snagged all the time. So, and it ended up just raining pretty hard. <laughs> but now it's looking okay. I mean, it's still not the best. It's not the weather we were hoping for, but 
Aaron wants to get out now. So we'll go see what we can do. I also watched a few YouTube videos because I'm doing everything completely wrong. <laughs> Would you have a go at this? We've just pulled up here, tied up, ready to start having a fish. Look over your shoulder, Erin. <laughs> there is rain coming straight for us. Yep. <laughs> and it's choppy for like a dam. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we just have zero luck with this kind of stuff, eh? Just if you want good weather, don't follow us <laughs> at all. What's happening here? All right, so. We had uh, a couple of very failed attempts yesterday of fishing. So what I've done, we've gone into Atherton, which is 15 minutes away, and bought all the gear. <laughs> Spent a lot of money. <laughs> so now we have all the gear and no idea, and we should still catch nothing. It should be good. <laughs> it no, just pour up. No, um, got a couple of yabby pots as well, because we've never caught yabbies, and they're cheap as chips, and I thought, bugger it, let's, let's have a go. So we'll get out today. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, but it was sunny this morning. It was beautiful. And now look yeah. at it. Anyway, that's the way the cookie crumbles. We're going to get out there anyway. Why? Just why? Some rain on the lens there. We bring, could we bring the wind? <laughs> We've got the boat ready, rigged up all the rods. Everything's good to go. Rain comes over. All right, the sun's poked its head out. We're not mucking around. We're getting in the boat. We've been out on the boat for how long? <laughs> About two minutes. We're in a little bit of mystery. <laughs> I may have got a bit of weed stuck around the boat. I've already pulled heaps off, but it's all around the prop. Anyway, we'll be all right. I literally just said, oh, we will like stop because this is where you get your live in the grass. So we've been told. And I was like, how, you know, like shallow are we getting? Thinking the grass is going to get tangled around the motor. And he was like, oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just decided to start it. And sure enough, grass got tangled around the motor. Well, seeing as though we're already sitting in the grass, we may as well try <laughs> to get some liveys. Why not? <laughs> All right, we're resorting to the oars already. Get us out of this grass. We're going very well. Oh, we're moving. Look. Yeah. All right, so that wasn't the lively spot, apparently. But we're out. The sun is out. Can't complain. <laughs> so we're going to go try to find another spot. We went somewhere yesterday that Aaron thinks is the go, so, and it's pretty protected in there because there's still a little bit of wind around. I could actually see like fish swimming in there yesterday, so at least we know there's fish there. <laughs> we'll see how we go though. That was tricky. <laughs> yes. All right, this is what we're after. These are called mouthies, so I'm told, because they got big mouths on them and they actually breed their young in their mouth. They carry their babies and they spit them out to grab their food. Look at that. That's them. Toby's birth one. Another one for Toby. All right. I got the so look at the size on the mouth of them. That's um, why they call it a mouthy. And they're like a barra, like a mini barra. So we're pretty much called a barra. <laughs> Biggest one yet. You got a glove on, mate. Go I for it. I don't touch it. Grab it. I it's going to wriggle. No, yeah, it will. You can just put your fingers in its mouth if you want. No, thanks. So, right, Toby, let's. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it breathing! <laughs> Come here. here. 
Let's have a line out, buddy. Drop your bow arm. Look, you can just grab these like this. Ugh. No. And then you little mm. kiss. Ah. He's too big. We just had two friendly little turtles come and say hello. It was so cute. It was literally like they were just, I don't know, sticking up their little heads to see what we were doing, hey? <laughs> and I spotted them. And Toby it. spotted them. He thought it was a big thought fish. thought it was a big fish, a big barra. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it was. No, no such luck. No. Nah. Anyway, let's go put the pots in so they can have time to soak. All right, never used these before. But they're the opera house ones. And we got told, I swear every person we spoke to had a different opinion of what bait to use, but heaps of people said cat food. So here we go. Some white meat tuna and flake salmon. <laughs> Gourmet. Gourmet. Do you put the whole tin in? Yeah. How well, do otherwise, they eat it'll it? just. No, they don't eat it. That's the thing. Oh. They get the smell. Oh. So it won't fit in there. So maybe we just sit it in. That'll do. <laughs> Such pros here. Yep, that's how the professionals do it, I'm sure. Alright, buddy, chuck it in. Drop it. Yep. Drop it in, bump. Nice and flat. Yep. Go. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. All right, we've just moved again, and how is this spot for a bit of difference, eh? Look how calm it is in here. It's like not a breath of wind here. No, um, it's beautiful. Was your fish dead? Now listen here, mate. You're gonna go find those big barrows, okay? Oh no. Oh no. What happened? He came off. Off the plate. Oh no. Get the rope. There we go. Lift it up. Hold it. Ah, nothing. Ah, well. Right, we're just packing up from Titaroo Dam. A lot of people asking about how our battery system's going. And, well, have a look at the weather. It's been overcast like this for the three days that we've been here. I'll oh, jump inside. We're sitting at 66.3%. Um, now, I'm stoked with the battery system. It has been so good. So even with these really overcast days, we've been getting up back around the 100 without much trouble at all. And that's with the inverter running all day, laptop on, coffee machine, like just using everything. So um, it's when, when we set this system up with custom lithium, I always wanted heaps of solar. So 1200 watts to the 400 amp hours is just awesome. Um, it's all well and good to go bigger batteries, and I would if we had the weight allowance and stuff, but I would go more solar at the same time because your bigger battery, you're just depleting it and it takes so long to charge the thing back up. So this system, 400 amp hours with 1200 watts of solar, absolutely stoked. I just, yeah, I got no words for it, just awesome. We, we're just not running out of power at all.